most matter in the universe is dark, and it's one of the biggest mysteries of astrophysics. Dark matter has this name because it doesn't interact with observable electromagnetic radiation such as light, making it invisible to our detection methods. We only see how it interacts with ordinary matter through gravity. We know something is holding galaxies together and affecting how galaxies orbit one another. But to this point, scientists still have not observed dark matter directly, only its effects. The leading candidate for dark matter is weakly interacting massive particles, also known as WIMPs. WIMPs would be small objects the size of atoms that don't reflect or absorb any electromagnetic energy. A new study from Case Western Reserve University suggests an alternative source of dark matter should be considered. Macros. Macros would be larger pieces of dark matter that may be able to directly interact with physical objects on Earth. To determine if macros are real, the scientists suggest something a bit out there. The human body can be used as a dark matter detector. If they exist, macros probably travel through space faster than 500,000 miles per hour. If one of these hit a human body, it would look like a wound caused by a blaster bolt from a sci-fi movie. A macro would probably behave differently than a bullet wound inside the body. Because of its hypersonic velocity, it would heat the cylinder of tissue it carves out to a temperature of 18 million degrees Fahrenheit. To this point, the scientists say no mysterious laser bullet wounds have been found in the human population in the last 10 years. This tells us that if the macros exist, they're probably not very prevalent, at least in our corner of the universe. Still, they're not ruling out macros. The scientists say their colleagues need to have an open mind when searching for the source of dark matter. Small particles like WIMPs get most of the attention, but we should be considering other alternatives like this. Further, a deeper review of unexplained projectile wounds throughout human history should be done. It's possible that a historian might help physicists make the next big leap in dark matter research. One such person to have reportedly suffered this kind of wound is Claude Knight in 1926, though other possibilities must be ruled out before considering dark matter as his cause of death. In fact, any reviews of mysterious cases like this should use forensic biology, which would require collaboration from different types of scientists. Hopefully this happens. But human injuries aren't the only dark matter detector. Slabs of rock, such as granite, could be surveyed for evidence of past impacts. The authors think it would be fairly easy to distinguish a macro collision from other natural phenomena. But to this point, no such search has been carried out. So what do you think dark matter is? Comment below.